What's up guys? This is a Twin Flame reading for October 4th and 5th and 6th. Because the weekends don't get that much play, so I do them all in one. But of course, take it as it resonates as it pertains to timing and content because just because I read the energy today doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to manifest on that day. I just had an inclination to grab these monology cards, so I will definitely be using them in this reading. Um, my little spiel, Tarot is not a dictator. Tarot is guidance. Spirit is a guide. All of this is spiritual guidance. Take it as it resonates and use the information as you intuitively are pulled to. So I may not necessarily be speaking, I may be speaking on one topic and you receive a message for a whole different topic, but intuitively, you know, that's the message that was intuitively, <laughs> you know, that's the message that was to be delivered to you. So again, use your intuition as tarot is a freeway street, me, you and spirit. Um, twin flame readings, twin flame readings could be about you and the external partner coming together as one to do light work. It could also be about the dualities of yourself, you and your shadow self. We were to think of yourself as two people, a spirit and a vessel, flesh and a spirit. Your spirit and your flesh wants to be one. But when we ignore our spirit, our divine feminine, then and we're all about our flesh, our masculine energy and masculine and feminine has nothing to do with gender then we separate ourselves um, from our feminine, from our spirit. But to become one with our spirit, we, we go on these journeys to seek knowledge of self, to become one with self, and to understand ourselves, and we get attuned to our gifts and abilities and our purpose. And once you attune to that, and you take your masculine energy, your flesh, to work your gifts and to you know execute your gifts and, and intuitions and plans, you become one with your divine masculine and feminine energies, and that's what we call union. Once you get to that point, you attract your divine partner, someone who is also mirroring you. So as you become one, they also, things change, tower moments, and things change in their lives to become one, and it draws you two together. Because it is the Holy Trinity, you, the masculine, and God. And once you realize, and once you seek God and you seek yourself, you realize you are God. You are God in the flesh. Jesus is God in the flesh. Someone tried to refute me saying Nipsey was Jesus by telling me that Jesus was God in the flesh. Read it. God in the flesh. God in the flesh. We're God in the flesh. So again, this is about your journey to you, but also your journey to your partner. Lamar, are you okay? Yeah. That was loud. All right, so without further ado, this message was brought to you by AshleyGiller.com. That's where I provide my readings and my spiritual brand um, books, apparel, and courses. Check me out, AshleyGiller.com, and also Jim by the TMC, my hoodies. Check me out for my workout hoodies as well. I want to start with Lunology Oracle because that's what came out first. If my computer messed up, sorry guys, I just... Um, you know, I don't know how to, my, my iMac has been giving me troubles. I, I, I don't know if it's internet related or what, but um, I'll do the best I can with what I have. Two already came out. We have Communication is Key. Again, I keep getting this. I'm writing a book, and I got this in my book, I believe, or the reading from the other day. We have New Moon and Gemini. Communication is Key. <laughs> I'm laughing because I resonate with these cards. We have Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back, South Node. And we have Confidence is Your Key to Success, New Moon and Leo. So it could be some Leo. I'm a Libra, FYI. So if you're a Libra and you resonate with me, that's probably why. I'm a, my Sun and Moon is in Libra. My Ascendant is in Gemini. And um, my... Um, I have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart as well. Make sure you look at your natal chart. You'll be surprised what energy you have manifesting inside of you or, you know, created inside of you from the day you were born. 
But anyway, so we have don't let your past hold you back and we have confidence and sincere key to success. I want to take some masculine and feminine energies. When I, um, the, I use these playing cards, the red is for masculine and blue is for feminine to kind of like get what spirit is saying to both energies um, as it pertains to this ca these cards. So communication is key to success. Uh, communication is key. And then we have Gemini. This is twin flame energy. So it could be time to communicate. It could be time to, all right, now it's time for you guys to start back communicating. If you have not been in communication with your twin, I have not been in communication with anybody. So definitely have not my twin. So it could just be time to communicate. And we have, don't let your past hold you back. Confidence is your key to success, new moon and Leo. So someone could be needing to increase confidence. So potentially the masculine because those who resonate as feminine, we were already confident in this connection because we had insight on it. So it could just be the masculine energy needing confidence. Now, if this is speaking on you on behalf of yourself, it could be you needing confidence as it pertains to um, your goals and your dreams and putting in the effort, knowing that it's going to work out for you. And, and communication is key. could be also about what life you speak into your business, what life you speak into your goals, what life you speak into your gifts and dreams. So it could be you just speaking positive energy into your business. So let's like practice my business is successful. My business will be successful. I have what it takes to take my business to the next level. I'm entering into a, a more abundant season as it pertains to my business. I'm going to take my business to the next season because I have the capabilities, resources, and everything I need. Spirit has blessed me with to take it to the next level and I'm going to use it. It could just be something like affirmations or something like the law of attraction as it pertains to you and the dualities of yourself and using your masculine energy to take it to the next level. And then with don't let your past hold you back. It could just be not letting karmic energy hold you back. It could be negative energy, negative thoughts, or anything that takes you down instead of lifts you up. So, you know, sometimes karmic energy is quitting, wanting to go back to an old job or an old way of living. Or it just could be self-doubt. So I guess take it as it resonates, as it pertains to you as well. But I resonate with this. It could be both. It could be spirit speaking on behalf of the partnership and speaking on behalf of your individual union as well. So let's just pull some. Let's see what comes out with this deck for the feminine for these two oracle cards. I just love this, guys. Hope your weekends are well. My son has been on break. We've been over relaxing I have been going through it as it pertains to like energy and negativity and trying to keep the hope up I've been on a spiritual journey for four years so it's been hard for me lately because I'm ready for more I'm in karmic environment and um who that's is that? oh okay I'm in karmic environments and I probably just need to remove myself from this environment so yeah Okay, we have Eight of Swords, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Ace of Cups as it pertains to the feminine energy in this message. Yes, 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 yes. Feeling held back as it, you know, Ace of Cups is like my cup run of over. Um, it's like the total opposite for Eight of, oh, wait a minute, this is Eight of Pentacles. I was thinking eight of. I don't know why my head just thought eight of swords, like bondage. So it could add something to it as well, but feeling held back. But with the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, it's just working towards your goals. So inaction could be the South Node for you, and it could just be time to work towards the manifestation of your goals. Like it could work towards fulfillment. What fulfills you? I'm writing a devotional in today's message, and my devotional was, you know, take one step every day. Just take one step. You know, it starts with one step towards your fulfillment, towards something that makes you happy, towards something that completes you, fulfills you. Take one step. That one step could be letters disputing um items on your credit report because you know that in two months you want to buy a car that one step could be taking a signing up for the gmat because you know that you want in 2020 and i'm talking to myself to start a degree program a doctorate degree program 
that one step can be contacting a VA representative because you anything. So it's just like take one step and then keep repeating that one uh, one step until it's time for the next step towards something that completes you, towards something that makes you happy. It could even be this partnership. Take one step. I love this. Okay. Let's see what we get masculine. That energy was kind of masculine. So it could be like the feminine needs to um, attune to masculine energies towards the fruition of something that he or she wants to do. Ten of Wands, yeah, Two of Pentacles, <sighs> Two of Swords, Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck, Two of Pentacles here. You see how the feminine got two aces and the masculine got two uh, twos? Y'all was going to say two doses, like I'm Spanish. <laughs> so, interesting, double, double energy for both of them. So, we have um, a lot going on for both of them, probably. But we have the two of pinnacles and the ten of wands. Still in this energy of a burden, of over a decision, because we also have two of swords here. So masculine still being burdened over a decision that needs to be made. With the self note, the decision could be between a karmic and moving forward towards north note. I always choose north note. I mean, I don't like to always say always, but I mean, there's a time that you already had the time where you chose your karmic. It's time to move forward. So it should not be a burden, but it's a burden on the masculine to choose um, south node, something from the past, a karmic, or move forward towards something more prevalent for the future. Still burdened by this decision. You know what? I have got to the point where I was like, Thinking nobody from my past is welcome because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. <laughs> Ain't that the meme? I'm really sick and tired of it. Like, if you can't choose me I'm, and I'm the obvious decision, why should I want you? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to pull some Uno cards for this reading first and see what message we get. I love these Uno cards. They have been giving me so many good messages. And I'm very surprised how I can come forth with a message from colors and numbers and, and you know, Uno cards. It's just amazing to me. I think that wanted to come out. Uh, what do we have here? We have six and zero. Red six. Six is, I feel like six is like, um... Energy of like being grounded. And six is also the energy of being grounded too with like both energies. When I think of sixes and nines, nine is like my feminine number and six is my masculine number. Um, but then we also have the zero, which is what gives me kind of like God vibes, like life force vibes and all or nothing kind of vibes. Yeah. This is like, give me all or nothing. This message here, for some reason, it's like, give me all or nothing. Because this, this infinity, this, this zero, this all or nothing energy, all and nothing energy is red. So it's like manifested in the material realm. You know, the sun manifested in the material realm, grounded, kind of st stable energy. So it's like, I want stability. I want all. I want I want all or I want nothing. So this could be the feminine expressing something to the masculine. Or her feelings or what she wants from the masculine. I want all or nothing. I'm not going to take anything that's not structured. That's not foundational. That's not, first of all, that doesn't have its foundation in spirit. Doesn't have its foundation in God. Doesn't have a stable foundation. I want all or nothing. I felt that. I felt that. I told somebody that before. I want all or nothing. And we chose nothing because he couldn't give me all. Then we have, oh, we have the blank Uno card. And this, I, this is my stop sign for Uno. Interesting. More green energy. More 
the green is also heart. Green is grounding and earth energy, but it's also heart energy, heart chakra um, energy. Hmm. Stop here with the yellow too. It's almost saying someone says, I want all or nothing, and then chose nothing. It's kind of like what I just said about my partnership. We chose nothing. Because look, it's like a stop sign and it's a blank Uno card. It's choosing nothing. And it's definitely a choice because you can write anything in here. You can you can paint anything in here, but it's like choosing not to do anything. Hmm. Let's keep going. Choosing nothing. What kind of shit? But, you know, sometimes you just have to choose nothing. It's like, I want all or nothing. Like, I told him we could be friend. I mean, we can't be friend. I don't want to be your friend. Like, and I, and that's not me. I'm a Libra. I'm, I'm usually the one that's, um, that was too many. I'm not taking all those. I'm usually the one that's going to take, usually when they give me all those cards, it's a number message. That's okay. I'll keep going. I shouldn't have never put that back. I shouldn't take that, but that's okay. But anyways, a Libra, you know, I'm like fair, level-headed. I sometimes will choose, like, okay, we can be friends. But for this particular person who I thought was my twin, I, listen, all or nothing, because I feel, I think about you way too often. Like, during this time, I was constantly, he was always on my mind. Like, I did not even want him on my mind. He was on my mind, like, every day. And his name was Tim. And Tim was, like, on my mind, like, every day. And I'm just like, I want this nigga off my mind. So... It would have been, it wouldn't be healthy for me to continue a friendship when I'm thinking about this man every day and clearly his mind is somewhere else. And his karmic or his girlfriend or whoever it was. I ain't got time for that. All or nothing. And we chose nothing. Should I take those? Just a few cards. So we have the reverse here in a blue. We have another red stop. And we have some that wanted to come out. Now we have four on the bottom of the deck. Spiritual union. When I see the yellow four, I think spiritual union. Interesting, interesting. Another stop sign. Two threes. Okay, so interesting. And the wild card. This is going to be... All right, let's see. Let's start with the reverse and the stop sign. Hmm. The blue, I think of communication as well. So, and the emotions too. It's like wanting to go forward, wanting to try again, wanting to come forth with like some communication, but choosing not to. Because red is the action. Red is my action color. So it's like I, wanting to communicate something, but stopping itself probably because you told him <laughs> all or nothing and chose nothing. <laughs> So it's like making it hard on a person to want to come forth with some type of communication. It's like, I want to come forth with this communication, but I can't because she told me all or nothing and chose nothing. Mar, are you all right? Mar! Stop hollering. Does it scare you guys when your kids holler? Like, I don't like that. Don't holler unless something is wrong. There's no absolute no reason to scream unless something is wrong. That bothers me. Especially, you know, battling PTSD. Don't holler. Anyway. Yes, so someone wants to come forth with should I pull for the masculine? No. <laughs> so make it okay, so we already know masculine is in the energy of trying to decide something. That decision or being able to make a decision is even harder because he or she can't come forth with the message because, again, they're in this all or nothing energy with the feminine, the person who potentially they want to, you know, leave everything behind for and go towards. Interesting, interesting. I might pull, should I pull some cards for that? Where's the mask? I'm going I'm to stop. I'm still going to pull these, but I'm going to stop and pull some masculine cards and feminine cards. What is this energy spirit? 
this is a, I love this wig. Yeah, the four of pentacles is just showing itself. Um, okay. We have ten of swords now at the bottom of adding. Okay. Ooh, so maybe it's like wanting to come forward with some communication to the feminine and tell the feminine like something ended. There was some endings. Something is ending in the masculine's life. And the masculine wants to come forward towards the feminine and let the feminine know. But the feminine is not friends with the masculine right now because remember, she and he said all or nothing and chose nothing. So it's like something ended potentially with the past. Remember, we did have don't let that past hold you back. So potentially with the karmic. But why, if it ended, are you still in decisive energy, still not in, still not knowing what to do? So maybe the masculine is still thinking about it, even though it ended, wanting to communicate this with the feminine, but still contemplating that decision. Well, I'll be damned. Then we have Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, yep, mm-hmm, <laughs> listen, didn't I say, I think I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna definitely title this reading All or Nothing, because it's like with the Six of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles, what wants to be communicated is, is an offer of a more stable partnership. An offer of equal give and take is like all or nothing. It's like, okay, I'm ready to give you all. You ready to give me all. It's like for a balanced, more stable, grounded partnership. Remember with the green, wanting to be grounded, wanting a, a strong foundation and put a, a forth a strong offer of a partnership of equal give and take. Sorry, guys, my lighting just keeps going in and out. Wanting to communicate this with the feminine, but something's still holding him or her back. Potentially soft mode. My big joker card is the big G. Big guy. <laughs> my little joker is demonic energy. So that just clarifies that wanting to move forward towards the feminine. Wanting to move up. Wanting to go forward. Being inspired. Being led by divine guides to come towards the feminine with this offer. So it's like spiritual pressure to move towards the feminine. But in the material, it's like, you know, other energies, soft note energies. It's like not knowing which way to go. Queen of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Clarity as it pertains to gaining clarity of thought as it pertains to emotional fulfillment. Kind of like knowing that the feminine is the one bringing forth emotional fulfillment wanting to communicate that like you bring me emotional fulfillment i want to give you this offer of equal give and take i'm ready for stability a firm solid offer to the feminine that's what the masculine energy is as it pertains to this communication that wants to come let's Let's do this feminine energy. I just want to see what energy the feminine's in as the masculine is contemplating communication but not actually communicating. Just communicate. Like, damn. I can be intimidating. So maybe some of the feminines are kind of intimidating. Women or men, anybody, who are very strong in their demeanor, very strong in their and who they are um other people can be intimidated by that okay okay Ooh. nine of wands ace of pentacles again Ooh. two of swords on the bottom of the deck for the feminine as well You know what? I think this is the masculine's assumption about the feminine. And, or this can actually be the feminine. But it's like not having clarity, not 
not being all the way there as it pertains to this offer of um, a stable offer or yeah something firm and stable not being all the way there not being all the way sure with the ace of swords I mean the two of swords for the feminine on the bottom of the deck now it's like not being all the way there as it pertains to what he or she wants or who he or she wants this firm, stable commitment with. Yeah, nine of wands, you're not all the way there. The feminine is not all the way there as it pertains to what he or she wants. And I think that's the masculine fear. Maybe the masculine is fearing that the feminine is not quite sure what he or she wants. That's what the card says. All right, which one do you want to do next? <laughs> okay. Child, y'all should see these cards. A lot of hurt energy here. So we have the four of the blue four. Interesting. And the five, the green five. The blue four, I'm just getting, again, manifesting this union, um, wanting to come together, wanting a union, wanting to communicate that the desire to want union. But with the five here, I'm just like fearing something has changed or I'm getting changed with the five green, something changed emotionally. It's like an emotional change or... Something change. It could be the change um, wanting to communicate union because there was some changes in the heart of the masculine or feminine. There was a change in the heart that wants to be communicated. And we already know that because it was clarified by the playing cards that there was a change, you know, I know you fulfill me now. I know you are the one who brings me emotional fulfillment. Then we have the three of yellow, you uno card. Hmm. So threes are spiritual. I, you know, I get Holy Trinity vibes, God vibes, divine guides. So it just could be, you know, recognizing that this is a spiritual connection and wanting to bring it together in the physical. Wanting to bring it together, wanting to come together, um, wanting to bring this connection together. This is also 10. It's like you complete them. The feminine completes the masculine. Duh. We've been saying that this whole time. Duh. But still. You know what? Sometimes we don't take action on things when we're supposed to, but sometimes it's just not time. It's just not time. With this stop sign here, this yellow, it's like something is something stopping this communication from coming through, this connection from, from coming through. It could just be it's not time. It could just be it's just not divine timing. Then we get another three in the wild card. Interesting. I, I don't want to say what I feel, what this is. And I'm going to pull some tarot after this, but it's almost like I don't want to say this, guys. It's almost like another choice. It's almost like spirit is saying, you can choose. 
it's almost like our guides or like spirit is stopping this connection so that each can have clarity of thought as to who he or she wants to be with. It's like you can choose. I'm getting three of cup vibes with this three can bring. But don't let your past hold you back at the same time. But at the same time, you have the power to choose your destiny. You have the power to choose who you want to be with. So it's like spirit putting a stop to things to give the masculine and feminine time to choose. The masculine is attuning to some emotions that changed. It's like... I feel like I know that the feminine is the person that I want to be with now. I feel emotionally fulfilled from the feminine. But again, we have nine of wands vibe from the feminine with the choice cards, like not knowing what to do. So maybe because the feminine is undecided, our spirit guides is giving, giving us more time to figure out what exactly. What do you want? What do you want? You have the power to choose. Nobody is set in stone for you. You can choose. I had a video uh, done a while back when I was working on, you know, the blueprint or I, I don't know what I was thinking. I had not enough money to start the Entrepreneur Academy, my Entrepreneur Academy that I'm going to found sometime in my lifetime. Um, and the in the video, he's like the man, it was a guy playing like a corporate guy. It's like, you can choose. You can choose. You can choose. You can choose. We have a choice. You can choose. You can choose. I was going to grab this for clarification, but I don't need it. You can choose. So let's pull some tarot. See what tarot messages we get. Somebody just needs to. We got a lot of communication here that has been stopped. You know, just communicate. Like, damn. Closed mouths don't get fed. Maybe I should name it this. Closed mouths don't get fed. I forgot what I said. I was going to name this. Ah. Uh, goodness. Okay. Ooh, man. This is jumping out. Ooh, wee. Hey, oh, oh, okay. Temporary bottom of the deck, ten of wands. So what jumped out was the strength card in the world. More Leo vibes. This is double Leo vibes here. So it's like a Leo coming full circle or just coming full circle and having the strength to finish the lap. So it's just it could be you in your individual journey, maintaining the strength to finish the journey, to finish the lap. You're almost there. You're almost near completion, and things are coming together for you. It could also be finishing the lap as it pertains to this partnership manifesting, having the strength to manifest and bring forth this partnership to the physical, you know, for the worlds to come together for the masculine and feminine. That's like both needing the strength to see the plans through to complete this journey individually and together. It's like coming together finally, but having the strength, you know, to finish. We got the 10, we got the wands here. It's like having the strength to bring forth this partnership. Lots of wheel energy in this reading. By the W, BTW. The one that I was talking about earlier, he's Aries. He's not, he, I think he's a cups to like Aries, Taurus or something. Um, But he's an Aries, not a Leo. My other friend is a Leo. But, you know, again, this could be anything. Page of Cups and Queen of Cups. Death now on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Honestly, I'm getting like a dishonesty in, to, in this card. It's almost like feeling like the Queen of Cups emotionally to this, um, attached to this person. The feminine, maybe this is masculine energy, but yeah, I'm a full card for both. It's like, um, 
feeling like the Queen of Cups, but offering the Page of Cups. Remember, this was all or nothing, remember? Yeah. Wait, did I say I was going to name this all or nothing? But yeah, it's like, um, feeling like the Queen of Cups, but only offering the Page of Cups. You got me fucked up if that's what you're thinking about. Show me how you really feel. Let's pull some cards. Who is this? Feminine. Queen of Cups. Page of off. Feeling like the Queen of Cups, but offering the Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups is an offer, but it's like it's almost like an offer that it's someone you're just connecting with. You don't have deep emotions for, but you know you're beginning. You're you're growing in your emotions. Queen of Cups is stable. The Queen of Cups is knows her emotions. Him, his or her emotions. So it's like you have deep feelings and emotions for me, but you're only showing me a small aspect of it. Keep it real, masculine. Three of Cups, five of Cups, as it pertains to the feminine. Remember I, earlier I said Three of Cups? So I guess as it pertains to deep emotions versus beginning emotions, this can be for two different people for the feminine. It's like having deep emotions for one and having, you know, beginning beginner like emotions for another. Maybe that's, you know, but still feeling for both of them, but not quite as one of them is deeper. So I guess the feminine's decision making process will be to figure out. And then we got the king of swords too. Clarifying this too for the feminine, figuring out which one is deeper, having clarity and making a clear decision to pick the one that is deeper. Let's see for the masculine. What we get for the masculine? Um, as it pertains to this Queen of Cups and Page of Cups. Did it come? It didn't come. I heard it trying to come out. Just trying to come. Two of Cups, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's different. Ooh, you see how that moved? Knight of Wands and also Nine of Wands. Hmm. Wanting to passionately move forward but showing restraint with the Nine of Wands. Or feeling like a barrier is in between it. Wanting to come forth passionately with an offer but showing restraint. This connection gives the masculine anxiety. Something is too nice here. It's almost, again... Feeling like you're not quite there. Not being quite there. Wanting to go forth with an offer passionately towards the feminine, but not being quite there. Showing restraints. This this connection is giving the masculine a little anxiety. Again, we talked about intimidation vibes. Maybe the masculine is a little intimidated by the feminine. Maybe that's what I mean. Masculine intimidated by the divine feminine. Row up. Six of Pentacles now at the bottom for here. But we have the Chariot and the Page of Wands. Ready to move forward on moving forward on investments. But Page of Wands is still energy. Sometimes the Page of Wands means you're not putting the action towards what you need to. But the Chariot is telling us to put the action. So this could be individually you needing to put action towards your investments. But this could also be about the partnership as well coming forth and bringing forth together uh, time to manifest it time to work on it time to finish it out go forward and move forward uh, I don't feel like I'm not going to pull energies on that one I'm just going to keep pulling <sighs> 39 Three of Cups the Hermit Three of Pentacles. I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. I think this is just saying 
you know, our guides, the divine is giving us time to think. Go within and figure out what's best for you with the Three of Cups and a Hermit. Figure out what's best for you. Shed light on the situation. And this can be me talking to the feminine and the masculine or the feminine or the masculine. What's best for you? Figure it out. What's best for you? Because we're all getting tired of this indecisive energy. And I did have these out, so I'm going to pull one. And then be over with it. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribes, and comments. I got a new subby. She commented on my um. That's three cards. I'll take it. Horus Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. I believe it. I'm ready for my miracles. Ooh, I was just at my store and I was showing someone who she was thinking about. She wants some space too. But anyway, she's like, well, what number is it? She's a spiritual person too. She's very in tune with her spirituality. And she was like, well, what number is your address? And I'm like, what is it? And it was nine. And like my nine is my life path number. And um, I was the ninth caller. When I met up with the lady who I leased from, she was like, you're the ninth caller. I'm like, wow, confirmation. Nine is my life path number. And then when we added the address, the first, you know, the, the, num number, the number part of the address, it was nine. It's confirmation. Why did I talk about that? I don't know. But anyway, three, 39. Sometimes 39 can be negative thoughts, too. Think positive. Think Yes, and then we have um, Horus Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic. Put positive energy into the air. Think positive thoughts and vibes. Tell yourself you're making the right decision. I will make the right decision. I am making the right decision that's best for me. Coming, with, coming together with people who are the best for me. Being confident. We have Leo. Confidence is your key to success. And putting out positive vibes and energy, knowing that it's manifesting. What do we have here? We have increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice, Master Buddha. Oh, yes, this is a deep connection, and you already know it. Masculine and feminine both know that this connection is deep, internally and externally. Internally with your masculine and feminine energies and externally as this partnership. It's deep. Trust that inner voice. It's not to be overlooked, not for a karmic, not for someone in your past. It's definitely not to be overlooked. Trust that inner voice that you have that's leading you towards what's best for you. Choose what's best for you. Mm. Charity. Prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. It's time to pray. It's time for us to pray. We pray that we make the right decision for our lives. We pray for insight and clarity into as to our decision making. Leading towards the most positive thoughts, the most miraculous changes. Guide our thoughts, Lord. Guide our hearts. Guide our minds. Guide our decisions. God, Spirit of the Lord, that lives in us. Awaken it in us so that we make the best decision for our lives. The decisions to lead us to more light, to lead us to better times, to lead us to divine connections and partnerships, to lead us to each other, to lead us to each other. The best person for us, the best person for our lives and our mission here on earth. And having confidence that it's manifesting right now. Everything is working as it should. That was my confirmation for my business today. It's a lot. It's taken a lot of money for me. And, I, you know, I've been very kind of sad and negative energy because I feel like four years into the spiritual journey, I don't, you know, I didn't, I don't sometimes feel close to where I, the next level. But I have to trust that I am. I have to trust that I've been led to it for a reason. So that's why it was good that I saw the nine today. Because it was another confirmation that I, I'm in the right place. So anyway, it's like trusting that inner voice. And following that inner voice and praying for clarity. Praying for bread. Praying for knowledge and clarity. And so your decision making and that you're going in the right direction. And choosing the right person. Just pray. 
Then we have Soul Flame. Radha, Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. And once you, you pray, and once you have an increased awareness and trust your inner voice, and, and you don't let your past hold you back, you come together. You rediscover a lost part of yourself. You rediscover your twin, inner and external, both doubling up. You rediscover it. So I'm going to leave it here. I love that we ended on the, a good note. I'm glad I pulled these cards. I, I'm really glad. Guys, I do wish you love. I do wish you light. I wish you more light. I thank you for your comments. I thank you for your likes, subscribes, um, and for sticking with me throughout this reading. Santana Riley, thank you for subscribing. And all of you for your comments and, and helping me move my channel forward. I wish you all love, light, and more life. Don't forget to visit AshleyGiver.com for a private reading. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit AshleyGiller.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.